Hello everybody and welcome to my 99th VBA 2010 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to use the get open file name in order to open up multiple files. Uh, so in order to use it, uh, I'm just going to, first of all, I'm just going to create myself a object. So I'm going to call it my files. Uh, I'm going to declare it as a variant, which is just a kind of a variable type uh, but isn't properly defined yet uh, and it's the default one if you don't uh, you know that you can kind of declare variables in VBA without actually using this dim this is what we will declare it as um, but I like to you declare them all so I'm going to do it as a variant and then what this means is I can assign it an array without actually having to say what's going to be in that array uh, so now when we do it, I'm going to use application dot get open file name. Uh, and what this does is it brings up the open dialog box and it passes an array of all the uh, all the values into the my files. Uh, so then my files is going to be an array full of all of the information that I've got, uh, all of the file names that I've selected in get open file name. Uh, I'm going to ignore these parameters and the only parameter I'm going to use is the multi-select one. So multi-select uh, colon equals and I want to set it to true. And that just means they can select more than one workbook. Um, so I'm now going to cycle through this array. So for each file in my files next file uh, and for each one I'm just going to message box out file on screen just to show you what it looks like so let's press play and we're just going to select a few different uh, workbooks press open uh, and it's just going to cycle through them all and just show them to me so you notice that it gives me the full path of each of the Excel files um, and that is essentially how you use it. So it can be quite useful for getting people to select a, a file that you want to import. Or, as I'm going to show you now, um, I'm going to use it with my code I created in the last tutorial to select which files they want to combine together. So if I go into my sheet one, uh, I'm going to get rid of the file system object stuff. Uh, so let's get rid of those first two. Uh, and I'm going to keep my object file uh, variable and I'm going to uh, for each uh, and we're going to need to change that so let's just copy our code from here so we we'll do for each file in my files so instead of going for all the files in the folder that we've used the file system object to look at I'm going to go for each file in the my files and then let's just copy this here as well and go into our sheet one and we'll put that in first so now it's going to ask for the user to select the files they want to draw the data in from uh, and then it's going to go through them all and draw the data in from them so let's go to my sheet and just make sure it's got no data on it so it hasn't so that's great uh, and I'm going to press play in here and I'm going to go into my folder too and I'm just going to bring through the first one press open and it's going to say objects required uh, and it's because I need to change all of these paths here so we actually want to give that file 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 so let's press play again just select one of these open and then when we go onto our sheet it's brought through just the records from that one uh, from that one file that we selected uh, if I go back into my code again and let's rerun it let's select but these two and press open and then look at our sheet and it's brought through the data from just the two and then let's just test it with all three for kicks and giggles uh, so let's press play select all three and open 
and then view our sheet and it's brought them all through um, so that is quite a useful thing to do so just bear in mind that you can do anything with those file names once you've got them uh, so people can use it for all kinds of things um, and this is just kind of a couple of examples uh, what you've got to make sure though I've missed one thing out in this code so if I press play and then the user presses cancel I'm gonna get an error um, so what I need to do after my get open file name is I want to do if my files equals false then end if uh, and I just want to do exit sub uh, and so let's press play and then press cancel and then it's not going to do anything so if they press cancel it's going to put that as just a boolean variable that's value as false uh, we can use that to just check if they have done that um, so that's going to be it for this tutorial uh, and it's also going to be it for um, for working with other workbooks um, in the next tutorial I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do on that one yet so I'll let you know at the start of that one it will be a pleasant surprise for you um, so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial which is number 100 Woohoo!